Hey, Lisa. Hello, hey. Sean. How are good you? Good to man? see you. It's good to see you. I'm doing great. I'm just hosting a show. What about you? Uh, I'm just hanging in there, developing some new technology. That makes sense. I mean, tell me right away about Polaris. You know what? We are extremely excited about Polaris. You know, Polaris has been in the making for um, a number of months, and we're getting ready to launch it. And Polaris is all about getting the best gaming experiences to as many gamers as possible. And you know, most gamers have a budget, and it's usually around 100 to $300. That's about 84% of the market. And for us, we're trying to get extremely enthusiast class performance at those types of price points so that all gamers can enjoy that kind of performance. And I know it's not just the hardware side, but also the software side. No, you're absolutely right. I mean, we've doubled down on software, you know, game-ready drivers, working on the new APIs like DX12 and Vulkan. And we have a, a little bit of a treat to show you what we can do with Polaris and the guys at id on the new game Doom. Let's go ahead and take a look at Doom running on Polaris. Hi, I'm Marty, and this is Robert. We're back here at id working on a number of updates for Doom, and specifically Doom running on Vulkan. Gamers can look forward to a buttery smooth experience in Doom on Polaris, supporting a wide range of hardware and gamer budgets. We believe the experience on AMD will be hard to beat across all hardware. Want to play Doom on your laptop on the train home? Polaris plus Vulcan is going to make that possible. Bottom line is, you're not going to need a $700 video card to enjoy Doom at fantastic frame rates. Lisa, the box has made a return. Last year we had a box, this year we got a box. The box is bigger this year. What's in the box? <laughs> Look, hey, we couldn't come to the PC gaming show without showing off some new technology. So let's see what we got here. We are showing off for the very first time the entire Polaris lineup, our three cards. So let me take you through them. First, let's start with the Radeon RX 480. This is our newest card for premium VR. And this is disruptive. This gets premium VR at $199 and above price points, and we love this card going on sale starting June 29th. And then we have two other cards here, which are pretty exciting as well. We have the RX 470 and the RX 460. The 470 is really focused on excellent performance per watt, so it's 2.8x over the previous generation. And you get full HD experiences, 1080p running 60 frames per second, gorgeous card. We'll have many, many different versions of this from our add-in board partners. And then we have the 460, which is really focused on eSports. So I heard about all those eSports fans in the audience. This guy is going to be the best card in the industry. Less than 75 watts, cool, fast. I think you're going to love these cards. So we're really excited about our new technology here. Thank you, Lisa. And you know, it's not just, you know, you, you were talking to me about VR yesterday, and it's not just that these support existing technologies. You, you introduced to me the word a VR backpack, which I was completely confused by yesterday. Talk to me a little bit about that today. So it's one of the cool things. I mean, you know, we're super excited about VR. VR has the opportunity to put incredible number of new applications there. And it's not just about the hardware, but it's about how we work with our OEMs. So my friend Renee here, part of the AMD Red Team, is showing off a new Alienware reference design using the RX 480, and you can see the entire PC is in that backpack with the graphics card, and you're able to run you know, full high-definition uh, VR experiences with this uh, reference design. So is that cool yeah. or what? I mean, <laughs> so this is the sort of thing that you could like take to an open field and be able to just wander around as opposed to just being in a room doing what I do, like punching the wall when I'm playing a VR game. That's actually that, absolutely right. Who wants to be sitting down? You know, you want to be able to do everything that you want to do with the VR experience. And this is really just the beginning with what we can do.